And um, there's a couple things I really liked about a Sheik. Uh, one of them is how how just straight up dumb he made uh, a lot of Fox players look. You know, uh, he made some Fox players look like they don't have any business playing neutral. Um, and uh, when I think Kirby Kaze, I think a pretty really good punish game. But his punish game isn't as um, I don't know how to say it. It's not as, uh, you know, he's not going for re-grab tech chases, per se, like all the time. But he, what he's really good at is he knows where to position himself in case, you know, option one doesn't work. So um, what you're going to see Kirby Kaze do is if he's late on something, he immediately recognizes when he's late um, on something. You'll, you'll rarely see him, like... Uh, you know, whiff dash attacks or whiff grabs, get sides to grab, stuff like that. Um, that makes him really, really good. And uh, one of the really, really good things he does consistently is he uses down smash out space a lot of Fox stuff. So um, let's go ahead and take a look and um, yeah, we'll go dive into it. With a riddle box, if I recall, in Canada. So he's okay, so right there, obviously. So this is a very, very Kirby cause a trait right here is he'll stay grounded and he'll whiff a four tilt in neutral. With a riddle box. Okay, the reason he does this is not because he thinks it's going to hit, per se, but he knows he's testing to see how good this fox is at punishing this this forward tilt neutral. Um, and Kirby Kaze is, knows he's going to be on the ground, you know? So um, I'm pretty sure during this he's holding down back, which is really good because if he gets hit by a nair, he's going to be able to get out of it, crouch cancel. Um... The best thing Fox can do to whip punish this forest hit like this is either kind of uh, kind of call it out with a run up shine or uh, a, a deep drill, you know, and drill and deep um, and then fade towards him. Um, but, you know, this is really smart to do because a lot of sheiks will be like, I can't throw anything out in neutral. I have to do safe aerials. Uh, but that's not the point. The point is of neutral, especially against a character that's just better than you at neutral, is to see what they can punish, right? This is a very basic option for tilt. What are you good at punishing this or not? Are you looking for it or not? Canada, so he's gonna be extremely well versed in that matchup. Like he used to play it every day. That kind of thing. But you know what's crazy, man? This is this Kirby Kaze, this is a player that we used to commentate a lot of his matches back oh, in yeah. like revival of melee, you know? <laughs> Wow, yeah. and now yeah. Connor got foxed. Showing us that, you know, Connor's also he was late on this grab. That, you know, Connor wow, and now Connor showing us that, you know, Connor's also a player who's been around back then, but he, he wasn't up there no. with Kirby Kaze. No, I mean, this is Kirby Kaze was definitely top 10 in the world That's at really one good. point. I think that, that argument is pretty easy to make, but yep. uh, Connor, he's someone who's been okay. Very slight micro decision that you guys probably didn't notice, but this is what, um. This interaction right here is a big thing that separates uh, like really good players and really, really good players, like great players. Like watch this, what he does. So the idea is here is that dash attack hit not because, um, not because like Connor, Connor made like a really bad choice or anything, but look what Kirby Kazi does before he does the dash attack, which is really, really good. Um, I'll show you. All right, see that? Okay. Okay, so when Fox lands, right? Kirby Kaze stops, right? Stops right there. Instead of dash attacking, instead of continuing his dash, he stops, check to see, he spaces around, like he can see if the bear is gonna come out. And then he notices the bear doesn't come out. So he dash attacks. And um, yeah, just really good recognition right there because there's no reason to rush this dash attack um, when you can punish both options, right? You can punish a whiffed back air and you can punish an empty land. But you, but the, the point is you have to look for it, you know? You have to, have to whiff punish it. You can't just say like, Fox is going to land here, I'm going to dash attack um, because, you know, you're either going to trade or Fox's aerial is going to beat you, right? So um, really good by Kirby Kaze is understanding that Waiting beats both options, right? Kirby Kaze was definitely top 10 in the world at one point. I think that, that argument is pretty easy to make. But, yep. uh, Connor, he's someone... Okay, so here we go. Uh, really, really big turning point in the match here. Uh, I say that because Fox is coming back at low percent. 
And Sheik has to do one thing right here, right? Sheik has to charge needles. Why are needles important? You'll see. And Kirby Cause's game plan with needles is very, very simple. Um, it's very different. Um, you'll see a lot of Sheik's, how they use their full set of needles is a really, really big indication of how much trouble they have with this matchup. Um, the hit percentage on full set of needles is so important for Sheik that you really, really have to find spots to hit those needles. Um, uh, that's more than just like um, short hop needle grab and stuff like that, or just a lot of a lot of sheiks will also use needles full set of ne needles in neutral to like stop Fox from dash dancing, and while that's good, um, there's a there's a slightly better option. I'll show you what Kirby Kazi does. Not sure if it's this stock, but we'll see. Okay. All right, so. Kirby Kaze uh, has pretty much two game plans here when Fox at low percent. You'll see one wave dash back is one of them. Uh, but one thing that uh, Kirby Kaze was talking to me earlier this week is he feels like there are times when he just... Okay. So he tried to wave dash back full set of needles here on reaction. Um, you'll see why that's important later. He gets it later in the stock. He barely missed it this time, but um, it pretty much guarantees it. Beautiful defense, gets the slide off. Goes too hard for the hard read, and he feels like... He wants that utmost punish when he picks the right one. But the thing is, no, you're giving up the option of going for a softer coverage on three options instead. Really, really good DI off the throws. D um, DI is towards the top platform. DI is off the platform here. So, good job. To figure out how to balance, you know, both reading and reacting. Okay, this is something really, really, really good here. So, he's trying to okay. Gets off the platform, right? To how to but look at the shark. So instead of forward airing, he goes completely under Fox. Completely under Fox. He runs completely under Fox. It's very important that you run completely under Fox and not on the side of Fox. And then you can shark with up air. Both reading and and they get the trade right. So that's why it's important. Uh, you don't want to go on the side of Fox where Fox has like better priority with his back air, um, and there. And the nice thing about up air here at this percent is a trade is pretty good for you. Um, a trade with forward air is all right, but it's not really um, not really going to set up much, right? The up air is nice here because uh, off the trade you can get a lot more. Um, so keep that in mind if you're sharking if you're sharking fox, do not be afraid to run completely under him. Uh, very important. Yeah, it's just this dash dance game at the Sheik. It's, I think it's probably the most nice. successful one out of uh, out of all of them. You know, I think that really good Sheik stuff by Connor. Table, but his movement is so deceptive. Of course, I mean it, 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 nice. it's the fact that he, he's been playing for such a long time, right? Yeah, maybe the fact that he took a okay right there. So Kirby Kazi's go-to when Fox set low percent is wave dash back full set of needles um, at close range. The reason why this is important is because it's very hard for, for Fox to react to at this range. Um, and this also covers Fox like doing an immediate aerial, dash, um, dashing in, stuff like that. Um, and notice how late he does it in his invincibility. Watch. The fact that he took a break. Yeah, so he doesn't do it like right away. He gets to the, he gets to the spot he wants and he see if Connor goes forward, right? Break. And then he does, break. yeah. So he gets, full, he gets the set of needles. Um, really, really good. Just wave dash back needle is so good again. Uh, wave dash back full set of needles is so good against Fox at this close range. And, um, yeah. Make him it's black. A nice. Rusty, but, I mean, some of the things that he was really good at nice. with enough practice, he was able to get it back. Oh, yeah. Now, as far as, like, the... Okay. Didn't punish the forward tilt. Punish game is concerned. You know we're going to have to see a lot of tech chases from this guy. Um, yes. If he sees a tech in place, if he goes for an option that will net more damage, we'll probably see that up smash come through, right? Oh, yeah. You know, we, we, we know that he's a big fan of that. Mm -hmm. But, you know. Oh, interesting nares. So notice how the nair covers the whole platform. Um, shield drops are very, very abusable against forward air here. And so is nair. So is it. So it's, it is against nair. But um, more damage will probably. it looks like he's trying to shield poke with nair, right? See that up smash come through, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, shield poke. And the nice light hit, um, it's difficult to kind of for Fox to kind of react to the light hit uh, shield stuff. Yeah, we, so. we, we know that he's a big fan of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, you know, we'll see if he's also trying to change his mantra and just go for the, the tech chase afterwards instead of going for the hard reads. 
Uh, and also one thing that I want to see is, you know, we haven't really seen a lot of, uh, like, really solid pressure from, uh... Beautiful. That's such a chic main thing to do. I can't do that. I would have just, like, up B the other way and took too long, right? But he turned around so he gets the immediate snap. That's so good. Some fun watching the, uh... Alright, low percent. Shine out of shield, uh... Double shine. That was really sick. So he rolled and he held down as he rolled. Shine out of shield, uh... That's... That's... That's actually fucking genius. Um, that's fucking genius. Wow. Look at this. So he gets hit out of this roll, but he's like holding down during it, and he gets like this crazy interaction. Yeah. Nice, full set of needles. Yeah, remember needles up close. To hard to react to. Pick out what that option is going to be from. Nice. Kind of just kidding, just think, gonna go for a uh, nair out of shield or something for it. But game one. Yeah. Like you said. Good stuff. Yeah, this is the kind of match I'm. I'm. To me, it's like whoever plays like Kirby Kaze shows here what I think is really important with Sheik. If you play solid enough, um, you're going to be pretty much ahead of the of of the fox, you know? And Connor has a pretty decent punish game. Maybe he missed a couple, but, like, um, I mean, let's just take a look here, right? They're even, right? For such a long time, right? Yeah, maybe the fact that he took a break. Full set of needles. A little bit rusty, but, I mean, Connor tries to attack. Really With enough practice, he was able to get the punish game is concerned. You know we're going to have to see a lot of tech chases from this Okay, so Kirby Kaze got 38% on the first stock. We'll probably see that up smash pump. And so right? now this 38% is so important, right? When he comes back fresh, because um, obviously he can crouch cancel a lot of stuff, he can take more hits, stuff like that. So uh, the full set of needles comes in really big here. Yeah, we, we, we know that he's a big fan of that, mm -hmm. but you know we'll see if he's also trying to change his mantra and just go for the the tech chase afterwards instead of going for the hard reads. Uh, and also one thing that I want to see is you know we haven't really seen a lot of uh, like really solid pressure from uh, kind of the nice. kids. Some fun watching okay, and then the, see uh, how what he does here off of its ability. Shield, uh, holds down so he doesn't get comboed. He's set of needles. Pick out what that option is and he's dead. Really good. Yep. Full set of needles, both stocks. That is in that percent. Really good. So Presti will have to avoid if... Connor, uh, um, well, we'll have to defend against if he lets Connor the kid get in. Oh, yeah. Right now... Has been doing a good Look at this. Has so smart. Oh, right? On. So, the nice thing about this is if you charge needles on the ground with Sheik here, you're saying to the Fox, I'm dictating neutral. If, depending on how they react. Now, Connor could have just kept there, stood there and kept lasering, but he didn't. Um. And he didn't full jump. So the needles are so important to just show the fox that you're that you're charging needles. Because if you're charging needles, you're essentially controlling the whole horizontal stage, right? Um, Kirby Kaze knows charging needles at this range isn't necessarily safe, right? But he's playing such a very, like, um, yes or no game. I'm charging needles. Are you dashing at me? Yes, throw. Uh, are you standing still? then I'm going to keep charging, right? Are you jumping? Well, then I'll do something else, right? So, uh, pretty much the, the what I'm trying to get, the uh, the point I'm trying to make is look how close Kirby Kaze uses these needles. He doesn't use them full stage. He uses it when Fox goes in. Let's kind of the kid get in. Look at that. So, a lot of Sheiks would have thrown their needles like way out here, right? To stop the Fox from needling, from lasering. Um, and while that's good, I feel like the tempo is not in your favor in, in that situation, right? Because the more you do it, the more susceptible you are to full jump at that range, you know? Um, when you save needles for when Fox is close, uh, it's just way, way harder for Fox to react to, right? So, um, and the percentage, the percentage war isn't in your favor if you want to play that needle for laser game, right? Um, so, impeccable by Kirby Kaze. Really, really smart. Oh, yeah. Right now, Kirby Kaze has been doing a good job of just like nice, nice adjustment there. So last time, um, he tried to turn around, and grab right, and he realized he was late twice last game. 
So he does this instead, right? He just turns around and up smashes. And that's a really good adjustment to make. Um, even though, like, maybe it's not the most optimal thing, but it the, the point is if Fox... It's harder for Fox to um, wake up shine that, and it's harder for Fox to spot dodge it, and it still knocks down, right? So at the end of the day, are you really missing much? Not really, right? Folks just, like, basically controlling the pace of the match. He's been getting Counter Decay off stage quite okay. a bit. His tech chases, uh, well, I was about yeah. to say his tech chases were on point, but we just saw a little bit of a miss. But then again, we're all imperfect, right? We're just humans. Yep. We're doing so, what we can. Yeah. So day not, by day. I'm not going to fault him just for one one slip up. Good <laughs> shit. All right, so notice this. Really important. Um, FD is good and bad for Sheik. Why is it good for Sheik? Is because you can shark easier, right? With dash attacks and um, pressure Fox's landing, right? Obviously, it's bad for multiple reasons, but you have to realize as a Sheik player, you, you can't play in the mindset of, um, oh shit, he's taking an FD, I better not get juggled. You can't play in that mindset. You have to play, you have to be like, okay, what are my strengths as Sheik on this stage? My strengths as Sheik on this stage are I can pressure his landings better. I can crouch cancel forward tilt better. I can um, I can force the needle interaction better, right? Uh, so uh, a lot of the times I think feel I feel like when Sheiks get counterpicked to the stage, they already put themselves in a hole. And the mindset of is I better not get up air juggled, right? When, when that's not the right mindset. So um, yeah, so look at how well he abuses. Um, forward tilt. So what's important to know about how he's doing these forward tilts is you can either hold down forward and forward tilt or down back forward tilt. Now why is this important? If you hold down forward and Fox tries to, uh, he hits you and then he tries to uh, drift away, you're able to DI closer to him in forward tilt, right? Now let's say you're afraid of Fox getting a deep aerial, right? Because you don't want him to get a deep aerial and connect him to shine. Well, then that means you can hold down back. And um, you hold down back as you crouch cancel, and then you roll to forward, roll to down forward and forward tilt. Uh, and the reason why that's important is because the aerial that Fox hits you with knocks you further away, so you have time to get the forward tilt out. Um, so these two crouch cancels are very important to know with Sheik. Uh, and it, being able to shift your hurt box around Shine is super, super important, um, especially in hit stun. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. So look. One slip up. Oh, we can. Yeah. Day by day. Not gonna fall to just pull. Okay. So look, look how. Look at the hits done here, right? Look where Kurikaze goes. He pretty much goes slightly backwards, right? Or no, slightly. F I can't tell. It's kind of. Yeah, okay, he goes slightly backwards, and then he rolls his stick to down forward, you know? Now, if he just held down there, I feel like he might... Um, he might have, like, been able to get shined or something here, right? But he's out of range out of shine here, I believe. He's pretty much out of range. So. Connor's ledge dashes have been so clean. See him with these short hop back bears, right? Yeah. Just in case Connor's ledge dashes are absolutely incredible. He'll be able to avoid. Yep. That was yep. sick. Connor's Damn, Connor's really good. I also like uh, the option that Connor chose uh, not too long ago. Oh. He's getting back on stage. You know, usually we see the long distance uh, wave dash on the stage. No, he didn't. Yeah. So, forward tilting, forward tilting, no punish by Connor. Wave dash on the stage. No, he didn't. Okay, but just really preemptive down smash. That's fine, I guess, but is Connor gonna punish it? No, he messes up. That's unfortunate. I thought he was try trying to see if he could just get there as fast as possible like that. I, I thought he was trying get... to illusion. I'm, uh, illusion <laughs> not yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm there with you. That would be crazy. So oh, Connor's messing forward, up. The, uh, I think the shield poke at the top of the shield in the back here. Yeah. Connor posted that spot there. But getting to the stage, right? We have. Okay, Kirby Kazi still has these needles, right? Look how long he's waiting to use them. He's using he's waiting for a good time to use these needles, right? So so important. There's a lot more room to move around. I love that. Jump over the fox and then turn around a needle. 
uh, when the fox is in lag. That's that's really good. Really, really good. Great use of full hop there. Um, that ju full jump turnaround needle is uh, very underused by Sheik. Um, it basically covers, if the fox tries to, uh, let's say, fox runs up, right, and he tries to back air immediately, um, needle should be able to beat it out before that happens. So full jumping over fox and then turning around and needling is a very, very... Um, underrated. And obviously it's scared because you're, you're assuming the fox can run under you and punish you, but um, it's actually a lot harder than it looks. So. He also has uh, taking away the fact that nice down tilt. You know, has the ability to dance around on the platform, platforms, right? Yeah, and uh, and also if you look at the sides of this stage, having the ability to ride the sides allows Connor to hit to at least get these easier ledge tests. Well, text definitely be helping him out okay. he staying alive longer. really good by, really good patience by both players but Kyrie better patience by Connor by Kirby Kaze. he has another option in the good rolls this is not what he wanted well, well, it was he sick to stop the tech you know, yeah. most people would have probably gone for a soft back or something but try to pop him up for a bigger punish maybe even look at these grab who who thought this grab would hit this grab is so far look at this I guess that's really smart huh I never thought about doing that. So what's interesting about this grab is it's like, I feel like this grab loses to jump pretty hard. Uh, can lose to jab. It loses to dash away, definitely. But it's just, it's just an interesting grab because look how far it is. It feels like it's a really far grab. Right? I don't know what Connor shielded there, but still, that's like... That's really good to know. Like, that that range, that you, if you can grab Fox from that range, that's like super, super good to know. Uh, I think as Sheik players, Sheik players, they don't really focus on the grab range too much, per se. But knowing how far your grab is, is like... Um, it's really good, because it makes it... it, makes it I mean, obviously, this is just so so important, right? Because a lot of times you can just grab the opponent's uh, shield, right? I think so. Um, yeah, just max range shield cheek grab, really, really good. Try to pop him up for a bigger punish, maybe even thinking of reverse uh, fair, but and including the stock anyway. Yeah. Actually, really interesting next level punish. I really like that choice, actually, in hindsight. Okay, he tries to full jump needle there. Maybe a little too antsy. But, I mean, Connor's playing more patient now, right? So, uh, multiple stocks he was rushing in. Yeah, very, very smart guy right here. I mean, if you look at the, some of the posts that he has when it comes to okay, on just boards, One hit needles to very, check very, Fox very dash dancing. Right. I think Pretty bad. Said, no, he's one of the most intelligent and brilliant. Yeah, okay. Good job by Kirby Kazi. Look how much he's simplifying the neutral right here. Really, really good. Wave dash back, check. Forward tilt, block, wave dash back, wave dash back, right? Um, you you got to, as Sheik, you have to, unfortunately, play this game of, I'm going to rinse and repeat this a couple different ways until you commit as Fox. Because Fox... Okay, so speaking of Kirby Kaze once, Fox, he said this one thing, really, a really important thing. He said, Fox is the best character in the game because he can choose when he wants to attack, right? You have to realize that aspect of Fox is so unique to him, right? Um, he can choose when he wants to attack. He can attack at almost every range. And so knowing that as the Sheik player, as the person playing against Fox, you have to you have to take advantage of that fact. You have to keep using defensive maneuvers, go wave dash back, wave dash back. Maybe you can package it a different way, make it look a little different. Look how many times, look how different Kirby Kaze made that look, right? So right. I think I'll show you what I mean. So goes forward, wave dashes in that time, wave dashes in, walks forward, forward tilt, waits, blocks, wave dashes back, forward tilts again. So you notice he did the same thing three times, right? Hey, Nathan, how's it going? Um, he did the same thing three times. He wave dash back three times against Fox. And eventually it worked. But 
the the point is you don't want to make those wave dash backs look exactly the same every single time because then the fox can read your movement, right? So uh, this is just a great example of how Kirby Kaze simplifies uh, neutral in this matchup and it, he makes the fox look so dumb, you know? And it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Given brilliant minds that Smash has ever seen. So, yeah, so guys, please, if ever you have any questions about Sheik, feel free to pick his brain. Not all of you at once. Oh, word. Calm down. Look at that oh. AI right there. Nice. The kid, trying to see if he can escape the threat of a follow up right there by Kirby Cousin, but Kirby Cousin just keeps on following up. It's almost like Jason. Dude. Nice. He just keeps. Right? You think yeah. he could get away, but he's right Connor, there. Connor's yeah. tilting, yeah, I think, or something. He's with Dash. Oh. And that's a back here, Man, that up smash tech chase is so nice. One more. There we go. That's the set. So good. Two that up smash tech chase is really hard to, like, you know, kind of DI against this Fox, because you're, you're expecting a lot of other things. You're definitely holding down, so, you know, you can get picked up by Dash tech pretty easily. But, um... Yeah, as you can see, Kirby Kaze makes that matchup look very simple. He's doing very simple things, but he's not doing it so linearly, right? Um, key takeaways to take key takeaways are needles up close are super important at, a, at an unreactable range. You have to have full needles every every uh, death, every fox, every new stock. You have to have full needles. Two, you want to take advantage of fox's ability to attack any time, so you repackage your wave dash back slash defensive movement. Uh, three, stay grounded um, for as long as you can. Basically, what you want to do, if you want to test for when the match starts against the Fox, is if they can punish forward tilt in neutral, if they can punish wave dash back in neutral. Um, so you test the ground options first. You test how they can, if they can whiff punish those. And then you can start mixing in the aerials and the regular chic uh, spacing, right? But you noticed he wasn't like... Low percent, he wasn't doing a lot of short hop fares, stuff like that, short hop back airs, stuff like that. So um, he's really pushing the limits of what he can get away with on the ground. Uh, what's up, Lucian? You missed the Sheik stream, dude. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. So uh, what I really like about Kirby Kazi, he's really pushing the boundaries of what he can get away with on the ground, right? Um, whipping forward tilt in Fox's face, are you punishing it? No, okay. That means that I, I'm, I'm probably okay at this range. Um, I'm going to start wave dashing back at this range, um, and you're probably going to start committing. So um, just, um, I don't know, really good stuff. Um, I probably should reiterate a couple other points, but um, I think I got them. Um, understand how far Sheik's macro range grab is. That's super important. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Play the percent game. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. A little bit of a short stream, um, but I really felt like going over Kirby Kaze. He's a very unique player, and he's uh, really good at making foxes look really dumb. Um, so, yeah, take it easy, guys.